This demonstration is for a lap zipper. This type of zipper is typically used on the side seam of a garment. I actually like to use it as a centered back zip as well because the zipper is completely covered by the flap in this type. If you are planning ahead, it is ideal to add an additional half a centimeter to your seam allowance for this type of zipper. So a seam allowance of two centimeters or three quarters of an inch is ideal. Now I have done it with a 1.5 or a 5 8 inch seam, but you have to be extremely accurate in your stitching or you can run into challenges. To prepare the fabric for zipper insertion, you should finish the edges of the seam allowances on the two pieces. In this sample, I'll be using the serger, but you could also zigzag the edge. After serging the seam allowances, make a mark showing where the bottom of the zipper will go on the wrong side of both pieces of fabric. Place the two pieces of fabric right sides together with the serged edges aligned. Start stitching from the bottom, two centimeters or three quarter inch from the edge. Start with the stitch length at 2.5. Backstitch and stitch to the dot. Backstitch again. Change the stitch length to 4.0 or 5.0 and stitch from the dot to the top without backstitching. Press the seam open. There are a number of ways to prepare the zipper for stitching. It can be basted in place with a needle and thread or pinned. My favorite method is to use a double-sided basting tape this is a tape that will dissolve when it is washed, so there's no need to remove it after stitching. I prefer the narrowest width, which is three millimeters or one eighth inch. I find wider widths tend to gum up the sewing machine needle and cause it to skip stitches. Place two pieces of basting tape on each side of the zipper on the right side. You'll notice the tape is slightly shorter than the zipper. This is because this zipper is longer than the opening where it will be used. There is a reason for that and I will explain that later. To prepare for the lap, you need to fold and press the seam allowance on the right side. It will be folded approximately three millimeters or one eighth of an inch and pressed in place. You can see here the three millimeter or one eighth inch fold. Be sure it is only the seam allowance that has been pressed this way. Remove the protective strip from the left side of the zipper. Position the zipper underneath the folded edge with the folded edges close to the zipper teeth but not on top of them. Be sure the zipper stop is positioned at the mark for the bottom of the zipper. To sew the zipper accurately, the zipper foot should be used for stitching. Set the stitch length for 2.5. You will be stitching down the center of the folded edge next to the zipper teeth. Be sure the zipper foot is positioned so that it is beside the teeth and not on top of them. This is how the finished zipper stitching looks. Remove the cover from the basting tape on the right side of the zipper. Position the zipper right side up and fold the fabric over top of the zipper and press it into place. When you sew the zipper, you're not able to see the guidelines on the sewing machine. So a great tip is to use a piece of scotch tape. The tape should be 1.3 centimeters or one half inch wide. I didn't happen to have any of that on hand, so I trimmed my tape. Position the tape so the left side is aligned with the seam and it ends at the mark for the bottom of the zipper. 
You can see here that the zipper tab is above the fabric. This is done purposefully. If the tab is lower, when you stitch, it pushes out the zipper foot so that it does not align neatly with the edges of the tape. But by making the zipper a little bit longer than it's needed, we can move that tab higher up and then after you're done stitching and have removed the basting, you will lower the zipper tab and stitch across the top of the zipper to, to secure it and then that will excess will be trimmed off. Backstitch along the bottom of the tape, pivot and sew up the right side of the tape to the top of the zipper, backstitching at the top as well. Be sure your zipper foot is positioned so it is beside the zipper teeth and not on top of them. Here I've backstitched across the bottom and am pivoting to sew up the right side of the tape. This is the completed stitching. Remove the tape. Use a seam ripper to carefully remove the basting from the seam. Once the zipper is complete, usually there's another piece of fabric that will then be sewn across the top to finish off the edges. In this case, I will be stitching across the zipper teeth at the top to secure it and cutting off the extra zipper tape. The left zipper application is complete.